Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will illustrate how I test PC components just by using the power supply unit. As some of you have witnessed that in some of my content I mentioned that you test your PC components before you configure it in your case itself. And also to some viewers who have requested how do I actually do it, not forgetting those emails. The last request, or should I say another request coming from my viewer known as Daniel Rios, you have prompted me to actually take action to share this knowledge with you. Now, before I begin, first things first, safety comes first. If you are under 18 and unsure about how this works as a night, dealing with electrical current, please do not perform this as I will not bear any responsibility if anything happened to you or if you get hurt. To begin with, you will need a power supply unit itself and to have the 24-pin cable connected to the power supply, whereby this end is supposed to be connected to your motherboard, but you won't be doing that. And these cables over here are the power source for 4-pin Molex and for SATA connections, whereby you supply power to all these tools that I'm going to introduce to you. Now, speaking about the tools, you do not require this tool here. You only need this. This is the ARGB and fan hub controller whereby it comes with a remote control. As you can see over here, right, the pinouts, there is fan connector, four pin PWM fan connectors and a three pin five volt ARGB connector. Or should I say socket. And over at this here, right, just an illustration. In fact, when you purchase a power supply unit, sometimes it does give you this self power connectors. Now, this happened to be from Seasonic and from EVGA power supply. How does this work? When you, before you connect the electrical current and such, right? As you know, if you want to power up the power supply, you will need to plug it to the motherboard. Instead of plugging to the motherboard, which is this end, plug this self-tested connector to it, and you can connect your AC cable to the power supply and to turn it on over here. So once this is turned on, right? it is on. Therefore, you do not need the uh, motherboard to power up your PSU. And from here, you will make use of this cable. As mentioned, this make use of the SATA connector so you can connect the uh, SATA over here. Then you connect to the power supply. Now, just to show you how this works and why I'm introducing you this unit here. Oh, by the way, I will leave this unit in my description if you want to purchase off from Amazon. So when you power up, as in like, let me just plug the uh, AC to the power supply. So when you turn on the power supply, having this clip to the 24 pin, right? When I turn it on, see, there's a light indication over here telling me that this power, I mean, this is being powered by the power supply. So this is how it works. The last two that I'm going to show you is this converter whereby it converts a JST03 or three pin connector to a standard three pin five volt ARGB connector. Why am I using this converter? Often I need to test Lenny products as in like the Unifan or the Galahad pump and such for the ARGB whereby the ARGB connector has this kind of connect connection. So I can't plug this to a standard um, ARGB plug. So what I do is I will do convert this. See, once this is plugged in, right, at the other end is a standard three pin, five volt ARGB connector. Now to start off, before you do the testing itself, make sure they are working on a anti-static mat. The next thing is to discharge yourself as a night. Um, some of the country itself, right, you have this static whereby you touch metal, you just get shot. So to prevent shorting your component itself, right, make sure these are not plugged in, okay? Let me do a proper illustration. So first thing to do is plug in to this cable over here, the 24 pin, and to plug the self-test connector over here, make sure it's connect properly, and it flushes, no missing pin, and over here, do a check. Now, first thing to do, discharge yourself. Make sure the switch here is off. Then, plug the AC to your PSU. 
Once you have done connecting the AC itself, right? Turn on the power. Now, there are charge going to the power supply. It's just that you did not turn it on. What you need to do, touch, use your finger to touch the metal surface so that there are no static. And this is how you discharge. And it would be best that you wear an anti-static stripe to ground yourself. Next thing is, connect the SATA source to the device that you wanted to power on and to test your PC components. Then connect the SATA over here. Once this is done, right, do not turn it on first. Things that you want to test, for example, I will want to test this AIO, the pump and the fan, to see if it works. So what I will do is, I will connect the 4-pin uh, PWM to this device over here. Then you can turn on your power supply. And we turn on, right? You see, the fans are working. And the pump, when you hold it, I can feel the vibration. So it's telling me that the pump is working as in like to flow the water from the pump to your radiator and back to the pump. And see the VRM fan is spinning. So this is working perfectly. And if you want to test another component, make sure you turn off your power supply. One thing good about this controller whereby you have this green LED indication so that I know that the power supply is off. There are no current in this controller. Unplug this. Test another component. For example, let's say you want to test the AIO ARGB. This happened to be a damaged AIO um, block, but it does have the ARGB, I mean, effects. So plug it to your controller. Then turn it on. When you turn on, right, this is whereby my remote comes in handy. I'll just turn it on, see? So it's just cycle all the effects. So once you've done the testing and it's working fine, you can just stop and wait for the uh, green light to go off. So once it's done, right, you can just unplug this. Now, for fan testing, as mentioned to you, I often test ARGB effects and the fan blade on Lenny products. A trick to test fans, right? Do not face the frame towards you. Because if you do put it this way, right, and you test it, right, the chances of the blade hitting the mat is very high. So I would just flip over, make sure that the blade, the four blade over here is facing downwards. Then do your connection. As I've already connected the converter cable to the standard ARGB 5 pin, sorry, standard 5 volt ARGB connector to the controller. It's always best that you practice in a way that whatever you want to test, right, make sure you turn off the power supply first, then do the connection. There are no charge on the device itself, then do your connection, then you turn on the power supply. Because you will, you wouldn't want it to be like functioning. It's like turn on and you plug it in. Sometimes you might just short the uh, device. So make sure you do this. So right now I'm going to plug in all this. Then once this is done properly, you like, turn on. Then you see your fan is spinning. The ARGB is working fine. See, I can change all the effects. Something to take note when you are doing a fan test itself, before you turn on the uh, device, make sure all the cable connection that's connected to the controller is connected properly and the cables is not touching the blade. Also, make sure the fan frame to touch the uh, mat so that when you turn on, right, your blade will not hit the mat. And things to take note when you are checking the fan itself, Hold it at the side so that you can position vertically or horizontally and listen if there are any abnormal sound coming from the fan blade. If there are, do not assume that it's faulty. Turn off your power supply, change your PWM connector to another um, socket, then turn it on and do the test again to make sure that there are no sound. If there are sound as an like abnormal sound like this, okay? That means to say your fan is faulty, you will need to change your fans. Same apply to the ARGB. If it happens that this ARGB is lighting halfway, do not assume that it's faulty. Turn off your PSU 
and to change the ARGB connector to another socket and turn it on again and to test. If that is happening again, right, then most likely your ARGB is faulty you and you will need to change. And do take note that this ARGB fan hub, in fact, does supply 3 ampere load of ARGB and 2 ampere of fan load. So it's more than enough to cater for one fan. So this should not be a problem as in like all the ARGB lighting up and the fan is spinning properly. With this said, right, now I'm going to turn this off. Why do you want to test PC parts like AIO devices like the pump, the fans, the ARGB effects, the probably the ARGB strips? Now, there are often PC builders have placed all these components in the case itself and they have done all the uh, cable management properly with cable ties and such. What if they were to turn it on and something is not working? For example, the fan is giving noises and the ARGB is not lighting up properly and such. So they will need to take out all the components or maybe fiddle with it in the case itself, right? To test individual components like the fans, the pump and such. And sometimes even worse, if it is really dim faulty, they will need to snip off all the uh, cable ties, which is a waste of cable ties and to do a replacement and to place it back. So if you were to do all this outside or should I say before building the system itself, and to test each and individual component, right? You get to know that whether the component is working properly or not. So there you have it. I hope you guys have actually enjoyed what I've shared with you. And for those of you who wanted, who do not have this uh, self-test PSU connector or wanting to purchase this uh, unit itself for self-test in future, I will leave all the URL on where you can purchase this in my description. You can follow that. Now with this said, for those of you who are actually new to my channel, if you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care, goodbye, see ya.